Hi, children. Hi. It's good to have you today. We're going to begin with a word of prayer before we learn our lesson. God, thank you for today. Please help us to learn your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. I have a question for you guys. Have you ever lost something? Yes. What did you lose? Pencil. Ruler. Guess what my baby lost? Shoes. She lost a whole pair of shoes in school, and it was not funny. And we didn't find the shoes. Did you ever find your ruler? No. Did you ever find your pencil? No. So there are two parents in the Bible, in the book of Luke. Say Luke. Chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 41 to 52. Verse 41 to now, these parents did not lose a pencil. They didn't lose a ruler. They did not lose a bag. They did not lose shoes. Guess what they lost? They lost their child. Isn't that just funny? And they went and they thought, hmm, I wonder what's missing. Could it be my pencil? No, I have it. Could it be my rubber? No, I have it. I wonder what's missing. And Mary said, oh, oh my goodness, Joseph, where's Jesus? And they looked for him and they could not find him. And they were very, very worried. And so they went back, they said, hmm, how do you find something that's lost? How do you find something that's lost, children? You go back to the last place you had it. And so they went back to the last place that they had Jesus. Do you know where that was? In the temple, in the temple. The temple was, is the church, but back in the day it was called the temple. So they went back and they opened the door and guess who was there? Jesus. And they said, Jesus, you've been here all along. And Jesus said, you should have known I'd be in my father's house. And the parents, are very happy to see him. Now, sometimes in our own lives, we lose Jesus a bit. We forget Jesus a bit. Do you know how we forget Jesus? We forget to pray. Mm -hmm. Do you ever forget to pray? You just fall asleep accidentally and then it's morning. Luke, do you ever? Do you ever forget to read your Bible? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. And so this VBS, we are zooming in. Okay, have you ever seen a camera, how it looks? Okay, we're going to pretend to be reporters for just a minute, do this. And this is your lens, okay? Now look through it, and then zoom in. Let's zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Nice. We're going to zoom in so that we can get to know Jesus better. We're going to find Jesus. And how do we find Jesus? By reading the word of God, which we are told was written so that we can believe. Yes, Kaku? By praying, how do we find Jesus? By going to church. By going to church every day. You guys are amazing, aha. Uh -huh. That's about it. So we're going to pray some more, but most importantly, we're going to read the word of God because the word of God helps us to know Jesus even better. Yeah? So that we don't lose Jesus. I want to tell you the memory verse for today. It comes from John chapter 6, verse 38. Can we say it together? John chapter 6, verse 38, and it says, I have come down from heaven to do the will of God. Let's say that together. I have come down from heaven to do the will of God. One more time. I have come down from heaven to do the will of God. Jesus came down from heaven, not to do his own will, but to do the will of God of God. And that's why when they were looking for him, where was he? In the church. What are some of the things we do in church? What do you do in your church? We pray. You pray. We sing. We sing. There are so many things that we do in church, yeah? And Jesus was in church to get to know God more because he was here to do the work of God. Awesome. Thank you so much. We're going to take a break. And when we take a break, we're going to do our craft. Are you ready to make something? Yeah. Guess what we're making? We're making a church. Okay? Okay.
We're here and I'm excited to make this church. Make sure you have a few things in your hands or rather on your hands. We have this print and this one and this one. And make sure you have some crayons at hand. Now the first thing you want to do is to color. I already colored mine. This is how it looks and this is how the other part looks. And then I've also colored this one. You choose the color, okay? You don't have to color this ones on the side, this and this. Then after coloring, you want to take this and fold every solid line. When you're done, this is what you should have on your hands. It's a church building. Pretty neat, isn't it? So, very neat. This is what you should have, which is a church building. Thank you so much. We hope to see your crafts tomorrow. Guess what I found out? That you guys are amazing artists. We made a church and it looks so beautiful, yeah? And then from there, I want us to listen to a song. You know, one of the things I love about the BS, just singing and dancing. Are you guys ready to sing and dance? God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand. You give me faith and I will put my hope in you. It has been a good lesson. I have enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the craft. We have something special for you guys at home and for you guys here, we have a worksheet. We just want to do some little work to help us remember what we learned. So shall we pray together and then we go and do our worksheets, our homework, then we meet tomorrow. Our hands together, our heads we bow, our eyes we close, and then we pray. Thank you God, Thank you, God. for sending Jesus to come and save me. Help me never to forget Jesus, to always read your word, pray every day, and do your work. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Amazing. Tomorrow, I want to see your crafts and to see your worksheets because I'm sure you guys are doing amazing stuff. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's say bye to the guys at home. Bye. bye.